Mini Wargamer Dave here from MiniWargaming.com. Today we're going to finish off these tables. The materials we're going to be using for this project are as follows. You're going to need a bucket, a brush, a brush that you don't care about, that you can wreck because it will get glue in it, a 118 milliliter sized bottle of glue if you just dump the whole thing in and water down the glue, that'll be good enough. But since we are making four tables, we're going to use a big container and then water of course. And we mustn't forget the sand, the most crucial ingredient. This is just regular coarse sand that you can pick up from any hardware store or building supply store. And it's relatively cheap. It's actually a little wet right now. You can still apply it. It's easier if it's dry. It'll just take a little longer to dry if you apply it when it's wet. You can also use some of this. This is Dynamatrix polymeric sand. And this, you just add water and it hardens. All right, your first step is to mix the water down glue. Okay, begin by pouring in some of your glue. Next, we add the water. Put approximately one-third glue to two-thirds water and just mix it. Now you should figure that this will be enough water down glue to cover the whole table. And we just simply apply the water down glue. Be generous with it. It dries relatively fast, especially on the corners. So, And only do a section at a time so your glue doesn't dry on you. And just apply your sand. You want to make it so there's no board showing through underneath. And if you're fortunate enough to do this with a friend, it goes a lot faster. One can apply the watered down glue while the other one follows and applies the sand. And make sure you don't put your sand all the way out to where you last put your glue because you want to be able to continue your glue without messing up the, the brush too much. If you have a cat to keep you company, time goes by quicker. Or you could just dump it, it goes a lot faster and then spread it on. Okay, finishing touches. Just go over and put some excess glue on the edges. Remember the edges are the most important part because they will see the most wear and tear. And just apply your sand. It's okay if you look at the board and it's really rough and uneven because a lot of it's going to come off anyway once it's all dried. Okay, once you've left your table for at least one day to dry, you're going to want to get off the excess sand. Just lift it up. If you have a big brush, it's good to get off the excess. Just lightly brush it off. Okay, and your next step is to paint. We like to use the one gallon paint cans. There's a lot of paint in them and it'll be a lot more than enough. And just let it sit to dry. And there you have it. So this is just one of the methods you can use to add texture to your Warhammer gaming table.